Hello Africa. Welcome to our channel. Africa culture and history. Depicting the history of Africa is a challenge due to the scarcity of written sources, with many researchers having to rely solely on oral history. Archaeology and genetics to determine details of the continent's past. The recorded history of Ill civilization began in Egypt and later spread to Nubia, the Maghreb, and the Horn of Africa. Islam spread throughout Africa during the Middle Ages and remains to be the dominant religion in Northern Africa today. African culture varies depending on which country you visit. During the late 15th century, Europeans and Arabs took slaves from parts of Africa and shipped them overseas to use in the slave trade. Over the 19th and early 20th century, the European colonization of Africa rapidly developed until after the Second World War, where Europe was weakened and, and the colonization began to take place. Unlike in Europe, where history is often captured in decaying buildings, in Africa the stall of the continent is found in the people who live there. African culture The culture of Africa is incredibly interesting due to the fact it is varied depending on which country you visit. The continent is home to diverse populations, many of which, many of we, <coughs> many of which have been influenced by external factors. Each country has its own tribes, languages, and cultural differences. Even small African countries like Uganda have more than 30 established tribes. We will now take a look at some of the most well-established products of African culture including tribes, food, and language. Famous African tribes The Zulu people are South Africa's largest ethnic group. It is estimated that between 10 and 11 million people live in the province of KwaZulu-Natal. During 19th and 20th March of South Africa was under apartheid and the Zulu people were classed as third class citizens often suffering from discrimination. Today they have equal rights along with all other citizens. The Maasai people live in the Rift Valley region of Kenya and Tanzania. They own large herds of cattle, sheep, and goats, which they regularly move around to new grazing grounds and water sources. They are a proud and independent tribe who bears their wealth and power on cattle. The more cattle a Maasai member has, the more rich and powerful they are seen as by their tribe. There are more than 50 unique tribes living in Omo River region of southwestern Ethiopia, making it a great place to visit if you are interested in African culture. Many of the traditional customs and beliefs have remained intact due to lack of access to area. African food Many people living in eastern, western, and southern Africa villages are farmers. They live almost entirely of the food they grow themselves. Traditional African food is also sold at outdoor market. In countries like Morocco and Algeria, koshas is a popular dish served with meat and vegetables. 
in Western Africa, it is the most for people to grow and eat cassava, maize, meal, and plantains. When visiting African countries, you will find that they are very traditional, with most women and girls carrying out the task of cooking meals. Colonization has also affected the food and drink served in some parts of Africa, such as Kenya, where it is common for people to drink tea. African art Africans are one of the biggest contributors to sculptural art. The art form of African scripture, the art of African scripture dates back thousands of years with some with some of the earliest scriptures being found in Egypt. African languages. There are thousands of indigenous languages and dialects and dialects spoken in Africa. Every African country has its own languages, even the smaller countries. However, due to the fact that many African countries were once part of European colonies, many people are able to speak Creole or Pidgin versions of English, Portuguese or French. In, in Northern Africa, Arabic is spoken, whereas in East Africa, Swahili is the dominant language. Languages and cultural traditions vary from press to press. African Africa is truly a fascinating continent. When it comes to African history and culture, there is there is so much to learn about. The best way to understand the various different customs and culture and cultures is to visit African countries and speak to the people with some of the most diverse customs, languages and traditions in the world. Africa is truly a fascinating continent. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share our video.